just tell them like He's from Mexico. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, yeah. really? I'm like, yeah. And I just tell people sometimes it's the traveling that makes things harder, but it is the Wi-Fi that makes things differently and better for them. Uh, and of course, you guys already know who Mr. E is. He needs no introductions. Honestly, one of the best players coming out all the way from New York. Honestly, one of the best players with Lucina, and gonna take it up against Echo Fire. We saw this last week with Mr. E. I believe it was against Syrup, where he did tremendously as good as can be, but Syrup was just one step above him here. We'll see how he handles Echo Fire. Definitely, and this is a very hard matchup for uh, for Ness. The, the, the sorties usually pose a big threat for him. It makes it really hard to get in, especially when it comes with uh, when it comes to ranged attacks and or mobility wise. We know that Ness does have a lot of opportunities, and he's showing it here with insane aerial pressure. Something that Ness is uh, Ness mains. Uh, are very very good at and they have to be because taking advantage of all of these mobility options surely opens up a lot of windows of opportunity that they can exploit and with this uh, percentage difference that they're holding right now it's gonna make it even a little harder for him however this amount of percentage might amount for a lot of rage opportunities especially if he gets a good grab or a little bit more percent close by the ledge so he can capitalize the most out of these interactions However, Mr. E doing a phenomenal job punishing there with the Dolphin Slash with only 63%, not a lot. He's positioning pretty well uh, in the beginning of this set, Mr. Bans. Yeah, and honestly, look, we saw how Mr. E did so well. He's honestly one of the few players that I tell people he has a really strong understanding of his fundamental game, but also how Lucina works well with him. He's been using the character. Actually, towards the tail end of Smash 4, he was starting to use Lucina, but man... I can tell you right now, Echo Fire knows how to cover a lot of those landing options. And I think that's what Echo Fire is going to have to look for. If Mr. E does not display an aerial of some sorts, there is going to be a punish from Echo Fire as much as possible. Even though Lucina has a really great range, and you have to imagine that as a bubble, Ness's range is also quite ridiculous, literally in the air. So yes. it's going to be like about range versus range, but ultimately who does better at covering the other options? Because Mr. E is really good at landing that neutral air one or that second hit of neutral air. And what a forward smash! from the Echo Fire sitting Mystery off the stage and off the stock as well. EK Thunder doing its job and doing it perfectly. Echo Fire phenomenally placing that tail and that head of that PK Thunder to extend the potential damage that he was gonna get. And not only that, he got this beautiful stage bike too. Adding a lot of pressure, oh. unfortunate SD from Echo Fire, even though he was on the lead, he still is, not by a lot, however, Mr. E's starting to get in and pressure every single opportunity he can, and he gets with an insane parry, he's doing really well. This is something that, I, uh, that I'm kind of curious of as to how it's going to develop uh, for as long as the set moves forward. Both of them, we know, Ness and Lucina are pretty much both sides of an edge you would have to argue that lucina has the better opportunity because she has a lot of range and a lot of combo potential however ness does have all of those little uh, situations where he can get all of the sorties lucina especially in my uh, in my opinion out of out of the out of the stage and it's very easy for him to confirm something but with this insane pressure and with that counter mr e is going to be able to solidify every single chance he can that is what troubles me and uh, makes me worry the most those counters when he tries to recover with the pk rocket yeah and that's the thing too that's like that's the bread and butter for lucina the minute or marth or actually any arguably any character with a counter like that is you want to make sure that you have that really great counter to counter that pk rocket because you can even you have, it's not only about countering it it is that perfect timing that you need to have with it if not they'll get through it but once you land that counter perfectly oh man you are going to be doing so many wonders against ness when he tries to recover good on mr e to just be out there and recognize that you know what i can threaten him with so much either an aerial a down air or an, even at the last stock we saw how we just stood at the ledge and <laughs> pretty much echo fire was too scared to recover given the circumstances Definitely feeling comfortable at any situation where he is in control of the ledge, basically. And I think this benefits both of them. It comes down to whether they recognize their mobility options or maybe how they recover in order to capitalize the most and get a favored interactions when it comes to taking stocks, especially at the early percents. 
Yeah, we see the one thing I like about Echo Fire too is his ability to understand when to go for PK Fire when his opponent is off the stage like that because there are some tricky things Ness can do when you're literally in that panic scenario. Yeah, and whenever he gets the opportunity to recover low or high, Mystery definitely needs to understand how or when is the best approach or the best opportunity to approach because if he doesn't get the right read, he basically commits too much and it might be detrimental for his recovery, especially in these circumstances where the PK Thunder is going to pose such a big threat for Lucina specifically to recover and maybe even condition or force an option, which I'm pretty sure Echo Fire will capitalize most on whether he gets the opportunity or not and beautiful backer from him yeah throw, sorry oh no, that's like the one thing about like ness's pk thunder is just that little bit of extra layer of pressure when you're off the stage that it forces you to worry like if you're not ready and so far mr e has been fine he doesn't he doesn't panic a bit against pk fire or pk thunder he knows i have to stay calm save my jump right and then look for a way to get back on the stage either through just directional air dodging or no i want to properly time that jump but that's gonna miss E to call out here on echo fire and then immediately slow to slowly you know shut him down in the air as much as possible he needs to respect it though even though he feels comfortable enough with his character he still needs to respect every single uh, option that miss that echo fire takes because as we, as we as we've seen earlier ness can put such a lot a lot of pressure by the ledge especially i think it's where he uh benefits the most like the best position for ness is just holding the ledge either with a yo-yo with pk thunders anything that allows him to poke you from a safe distance and he's doing a terrific job here putting mystery e in such a bad position with only one stock left yeah excellent play coming out from echo fire honestly like you you said it well for mr e he has to make sure he is not falling to those things he won game one here but the thing is echo fire has slowly adapted to mr e's game plan but i think the one thing for mr e is to understand okay i see that forward and let me punish it on the landing i didn't punish on the landing let me punish before he gets on the aerial and it's about shutting ness down and mr e has to consistently figure out things on echo fire man that is an overzealous <laughs> Yeah. Shield break, yeah. but he's able to come back, and there is a nice punish from that forward smash. We saw him shield break earlier. I think it was Alan, but again, that counter coming up clutch, but 70%, that might be a little hard. He needs to play really well. He needs to avoid any kind of action that uh, Echo Fire tries to put out, but I don't think it's going to be easy because just like that, he hits him with a tail, still saving his jump. Very smart for Mr. E, recognizing, recognizing that he was going to get gimped or at least try to. So again, the percentage not looking very hot for him, but he might as well abuse the amount of rage that he's slowly building up. Oh man, Mr. E, speaking of abusing all the rage, yeah, he is definitely taking advantage of all those opportunities. He has literally gotten this reversal against Echo Fire. That neutral is gonna send Mr. E in such a rough spot. And that forward, that rising forward that you can see from this is just so good to call out that one. Yeah, it's very good. The active frames on on it, it are just, it's just ridiculous. It's very hard to uh, reach out or try to do something, especially when he makes it rise like that. It basically scoops you out, no matter where you at, where you are. It's it's gonna catch you, especially because of how long it lasts. So uh, good game from both of them. Even game so far. Uh, Bans, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the best of five? This is best of five territory indeed, of course. Losers quarters is the battle for losers semis to losers finals to grands. And when we're usually in this part of the top eight bracket, we do do the best of five for both players to be able to have the best opportunity to adapt to right. one another. So game three, super pivotal game when you consider all the counter picks aside, but also it's about the pressure on who's that point. Definitely, and, and, and I respect a lot from Echo Fire how he stay with Ness. I assume that's his main. He does have other characters under his uh, belt. However, I definitely have to agree that he feels the most comfortable. The PK Fire spam is going to make it work. However, not enough to get a stock and just putting extra pressure by the ledge. But that things, uh, those things get reversed when Mr. E is on, a, on his watch trying to get more damage by the ledge using the legendary Falcon, the legendary sword. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that sword was built for destroying dragons and not small psychic teenage boys. <laughs> Except if not, Lucina would definitely have the upper hand here. But so far, Mr. E being able to put that empty hop to really good use, punish with the forward throw, and immediately look to establish stage control. No panic from Mr. E because he knows the second he panics, he walks into Echo Fire's hands. 
like that's where most nest mains basically take the most advantage of you trying to mash out of a PK fire, mash out of a a yo-yo, or not knowing how to properly react. Mystery doing God's work here, trying to the edge guard, and with that sliding tilt, he's going to try to do something beautiful. Tech from Mystery once again, holding center stage. Yeah, and that's honestly the name of the game here. If you hold center stage, he respects the fact that even though Ness is at ledge, Ness has a plethora of tools. What a deep forwarder to stop oh, that recovery too. Down. Damn. Oh no, yeah. And that was good because that beat out spot dodge, right? If Mystery tries to jump, never forget Yo-Yo goes above Ness as well. Yeah, it's such a good anti here, and, and a lot of people struggle a lot, depending on the character, of course. Struggle a lot to deal with uh, with those yo-yos, especially by the ledge. I, myself, as a Falcon main, struggle a little because it's hard to recover with those. But I know that Mr. E knows well how to deal with those. And with such a good move, uh, his up B, the Dolphin Slash, allows him to not only get an active hitbox, but it's also incredibly fast. So it's hard to actually catch a uh, Sorty or Lucina or uh, Marth in those kinds of recovery situations. Beautiful conditioning. And Ooh. going again all the way up. Is he, was he trying to get the spike? No, no, he was going for the forward air, right? Oh, that was the forward air indeed, but good on Mystery to recognize this is one of two options here. It is either a back air or the counter. And if I pick my cards right, which he obviously did, he is able to still recover after each one of those and still get that stock lead he wants to have against Echo Fire seeing a lot of burst options from both of them they're definitely recognizing the mobility and the uh, aggressive options from their opponents and this is basically what you said earlier it's the name of the game adaptation beautiful pk fire perfectly placed and the bounce allowed him to recover but only to find the mice not angling it in the right uh, direction and he finds himself sd once again giving mr e the the lead basically in this best of five only one game away from taking the set yeah honestly i do like how i'm just gonna be so terrible pronouncing your name a guap he has a really good understanding of like yeah mystery e is one of those players that like he understands neutral he understands movement he understands his character's tools but on top of that he understands that level of composure that you need to have in order to play against a lot of characters like Les, because the minute you lose composure against Ness, oh man, he will run over you. Like you see that PK fire spam and many yeah. players lose their composure trying to escape all that damage that they might take. But Mr. E, man, he is calm and collected 100% of the time. Definitely takes into consideration how experienced you are in these high pressure situations, especially this far up in bracket. Definitely, they don't want to make ugly mistakes and they have to avoid taking risks such as uh, mashing or taking the wrong defensive or recovery option. And it's definitely something that you want to take in mind. However, these competitors don't have time to think. All of it is reactionary and knowledge based. And this is why they get so high in these very high stacked uh, tournaments basically <laughs> yeah their skill level tends to really show him for mystery his skill level is definitely flourishing here uh definitely taking in some notes of how he played against syrup last week here going for that deep forwarder yet again and the classic edge guard for lucina against ness comes out to play here off the stage yeah not much he can do basically other than i don't know get lucky from missing or avoiding <laughs> counter, right but it's really not much he can do if he positions himself in a low recovery situation mystery you can take for you know for granted that he's gonna be countering and getting super early stocks especially against the pk soy boy as i like to call him he's very lightweight and if you get him by the ledge or maybe close to the blast zone he's gone especially with the strength that lucina has on her sword yeah, oh, that down air to back air and immediately pushing in all the control up against Echo Fire. Finally, that up air from the ledge. I think that's why we've been seeing Mr. E just opt to let me take center stage. Let me falsely give Ness the ledge so that I can lure him into one of my great whiff punishes against him here. And it's looking a, a little harder for Echo Fire, even though 
the difference is, oh, oh, he was trying to get the spike and he was so close, but that dolphin slash is coming out faster. Great two frame for Mystery. And once <laughs> again gets that counter. He's one stock away from winning this set. And listen, Bans, it's all about, I don't want to demerit or uh, demean the skill of each competitor because we know that they're really good. However, this matchup is not looking pretty for the Psychic Boy. Yeah. No, honestly, like what I what I tell everybody is, look, you have a game plan, and the game plan works out well in your head. But you know what ends up happening is you get hit, and you need to adjust that game plan accordingly. Here, for Echo Fireman, Mystery has been that one step above him. He's kind of learned, like I said, from last week, paying attention to all of Ness's tools and saying, you know what, that was last week. This is this week. If I gotta be somebody to fight against Alan Dis, it's doing the best that I can against Echo Fire here. The one thing I haven't seen from Echo Fire, but I'm glad to see here, is that special that is the PK Fire, but also his ability to use things like PK Thunder and, and even Psy Stalls to come back on the stage. He hasn't quite been putting that into work just yet. Definitely. I wonder if uh, maybe trying more yo-yos by the ledge would have worked, but he's opting for a lot of PK Thunders. Of course, maybe he knows a little better. And yeah, it's hard for, for Ness to punish Lucina with these, uh, this Dolphin Slash, which is such a good move. But that insane back air is going to get the stock and the set as well for Mystery. Beautifully done from both of them. Definitely Mystery adapting way, way quicker than Echo Fire, as well as the uh, matchup not much in his favor. But well done from both of them yeah honestly